Hey, what's going on everyone? Happy Sunday. Hopefully you guys have a good one so far. Just going to touch base a little bit on discernment, what it is and things of that nature. Just so that, you know, people can have a better understanding of what it really is. So, um, discernment is basically like a gift from the Lord that allows for us to see right from wrong. You know, it's the process really of seeing what's good and bad, what's a lie and the truth and what's better and best. And, you know, we definitely face decisions like on a daily basis like for example like what to eat what to wear what to buy what uh where to go to work or where to work where to go to live things of that nature so there's so much in our world that's grappling for our attention and because of that that's where discernment comes into play you know it's more necessary now more than ever before just to protect against uh you know false teaching and to walk a path of holiness and you know how do we find that wisdom and discernment and let's look at proverbs 9 10 the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy one is understanding so wisdom starts really with the fear of the lord um and the scripture is it, it allows us to see um a picture of the fear of the lord as great awe you know bestowing honor deep respect and gratitude things of that nature trembling before the lord so with that in mind it's like we find wisdom just by fearing the lord and that means that we understand our own insignificance and magnify the greatness of who he really is and it also states that we have to um, have understanding and have knowledge of him so therefore you know finding that wisdom and discernment is twofold like we fear the lord and then we also seek to know him intimately and there's a few ways you know um in cultivating that spirit of discernment one of which is asking for wisdom you know so unless the lord has you know so graciously and supernaturally gifted us you know wisdom will not only come without desired effort and request from us i mean think of king solomon in the bible like he was um known as a great ruler you know because he didn't ask for riches or jewels or things of that nature he asked for discernment and wisdom so for us, it's like if we want to cultivate a heart of that discernment, we need to do as the book of James teaches. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask the Lord, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. So another way is just reading the word. You know, his word discerns our thoughts and intentions. So if you want to be lot, uh, wise, um, loving kind patient things of that nature we gotta you know submit ourselves to the word of the lord and allow for the cut to our soul turning away from evil that's another one you know we can't cultivate a spirit of discernment if we continue to engage in activities and things that clearly go against the truth and the commands of the lord's word right so you know fearing the lord it implies that we honor the lord and obey his voice so a discerning heart is pretty much one that seeks repentance and intentionally decides to walk away from sin so wisdom is not only what we know but it's what we do with what we know um, another way is just taking every thought captive like our thoughts and emotions you know it really can be like a whirlpool of death maybe not literal death but if we allow for our emotions to just take over our thoughts and actions then they're going to quickly run us amok, you know, leaving us lost without wisdom. So thankfully, like when we submit our thoughts and emotions to the Lord, like he provides that wisdom and discernment to, you know, for them to really process them the right way. And last but not least, you know, just living in the true freedom of the Lord. Like as we grow in our understanding of the gospel, we're going to grow in discernment as well. So through death, life, resurrection of the Lord, um, you know, we're pretty much provided freedom unlike any other. So the undiscerning is not going to experience that kind of freedom. And, you know, the more they look into themselves for answers or even look to the end of the earth, um, the more miserable they're probably going to become as they pretty much, you know, enslave themselves to other people, to their own pride and you know pretty much like an unbiblical pattern of life but when we put our faith in hope in christ we're 
pretty much saved out of sin and into the relationship with the world. So the more we come to understand that and its implications and the greater our spirit of the sun is going to be. So, you know, what does all that mean? Well, you know, faith in the Lord is going to provide that freedom, freedom from like emotional stress and things of that nature as we submit our thoughts and emotions to the Lord. You know, freedom from guilt, you know, as we're no longer condemned, but forgiven, you know, freedom as we speak. Um, goodness, you know, by repenting of our sin often, you know, freedom from shame, freedom to make um, decisions with hope, um, knowing that our sources of truth and happiness, they don't come from within, but they're ultimately found in the Lord, right? So, but with that being said, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in to another video. I'm just going to leave it with this before I you know, officially end it. Um, so pretty much like I said, like, you know, discernment, the Lord bless you with it. So use it. You know, when he wants to bless you, he's going to send people. When the enemy wants to destroy you, he sends people. So it's really up to you to make that decision to discern who sent who. So just so you know, you know, the enemy, he hears your prayers too. And his goal is to do what? Um, seek, eliminate, and destroy. Or in other words, you know, he, his goal really is to, you know, keep you from getting what the Lord has for you. Try to block you from that. So just because it might look good, it doesn't mean it's, it's the Lord. So just start using that gift of discernment that you have so that you can know better and do better and truthfully if it's not from the lord you shouldn't even want it in the first place so just discern wisely and with that being said again i'd like to thank you guys for tuning in to another video um and a special shout out to the team <laughs> they know what i mean by that but uh yeah shout out to the team you know what i'm saying appreciate you um you know for just being who you are big shout out to the team um but with that in mind i'd like to thank you guys again for tuning in i know i said that like three times but i was just thinking about this as i was you know going through this and um they like i said they know who they are um they're going to be laughing when they see this but um but yeah um you guys continue to be safe <laughs> Be safe, continue to stay hydrated and monitor your health and continue to be blessed and encouraged. I don't know why I'm laughing like this, but it's just funny. Um, but yeah, y'all take care and have a good one.